welcome to another video of ours. Um, today I'm going to show you one of our very popular fair babies. I'm going to assemble it for you so you can see how it's done. Um, these have been on our website for a little while now and I know a lot of you have already purchased them and you have assembled them really, really well. However, there are still some customers that are not quite sure on how, how to put them together. So I thought a little video and can show you how to do that. The ones that we've designed ourselves you won't find anywhere else, including this one here, which is Sailor Sally. She's gorgeous. Um, she's got a little anchor on her hat, which is really, really cute. Um, we're really proud of these and the feedback for them has been wonderful. So yeah, let's get on with it and show you how to put one of these together. So first things first, when you purchase your fair baby uncut, it'll be complete with its marabou feathers, which I'll show you in a moment. It will come like this, stitched out with its paws or wing, depending on which character you've got. And you will need to cut around the stitching on the edge. So I'm going to do that now for you. That was my glue gun. I'm going to do that now for you. I'll speed, up, speed it up so you can see what it's like once it's cut out. A quick tip for you before I do is when you're cutting out any of your felties or fair babies, any embroidered products, my advice would be when you're cutting, move the felty or the fair baby, don't move your scissors. So it will make the cut a lot, lot neater, especially when you're going around edges like that. So move your felty, not your, not your scissors. So let me speed this up for you and you'll see the finished product. So now we've cut out our paws and our fair baby, the best thing to do now is just need to your edges. This applies to all felties. Um, because these are embroidered onto felt, you will get fluffy bits on the edge. So it's called air cutting. So you might not be able to see very clearly on here, but there's lots of little fine strands on the edges. So what I do is just very carefully snip around them. Like I say, you do this with all felties, it just makes it a neater finish. And also, on the back, make sure you just pull up any loose stitches from when it's been embroidered. Not stitches, sorry, the thread ends. Don't be pulling the stitches off, God no. Um, just trim these off. There we go. So we have it two paws, and there's Sally. Just be extra careful whenever you're cutting around any felties or your paws or whatever. There is a stitch all the way around the edge. Don't snip into that stitch because it will come undone and that will ruin your felty or your fair baby. Right, so now that's all cut out. Let's pop into the middle there. Now that's all cut out, um, it is ready to stick on our marabou puff. The marabou puff that you will get with Sailor Sally is a really nice, rich navy blue puff. However, we do sell this marabou trim on our website. So you could be extra creative and make yours even more unique and purchase your own trim. Uh, we sell it by half a meter um, and you could make your own puff. Now I'll show you how to do that, but please note that whenever you purchase one of our uh, fair babies, this will already be done for you with the color that comes with it. It's only if you want to make your own at home um, and just make it a bit different. So what we need to do is we get our marabou trim. It is incredibly messy. You will get fluff, lots of excess fluff everywhere when you first cut into it. It's a nightmare, it blows everywhere. Uh, don't do what I do and hoover up all the fluff after you've been cutting out lots and lots of marabou uh, trim. Hoover it all up and then go out in the street and empty your hoover into the big bin and let it all blow down the street and into the neighbour's bushes. Um, I wasn't the uh, the favourite one down the street on that particular day. It was uh, very colourful, to say the least. Um, so yeah, when you've trimmed your, when you've cut down your marabou trim, you need about two inches, and you'll see you've got two ends. I'm just gonna trim that end off there. Don't need that. You'll see you've got two ends like this. 
best thing to do, you might have your own technique, but how I do it is I, through my first two fingers, I just pull the fur back and place it there. And then create a U shape as I bring it round and pull the fur back there. You can gently blow it out the way. And that will expose the two ends nice. And just grab my glue gun. I'm going to pop a dab of glue on one of those ends. My lead doesn't quite reach, so bear with me. Right, I'm going to put a bit of glue on the end there. Now I'm going to stick those ends together and we're going to hold them in place. As many of you are already aware, hot glue is hot and you will burn your fingers a little bit, so do be careful. Right, once that's nice and secure, you'll be left with a ring. And it'll look like this. What I do is I have a look at both sides, see which one's my nicest, fluffiest side. And then I just give it a little blow through the middle of the ring, just to push through any more fur that I can and bring it to the front. And I get a circle of felt, which I've already cut out. Um, preferably in a matching colour to your fluff or to your fair baby. I then squiggle on some glue on the back of this. And we'll pop it onto the back of your ring. And just let that dry for a moment and let it cool down. Right, so we'll turn it over and just ruffle the feathers a little bit. And it'll look like that, it's lovely. So next thing, you need to get Sailor Sally and stick on the Marabou Puff. Now, like I said, this will already become, this will already come pre-assembled for you, so you don't need to faff around cutting fair. Um, just use that technique if you want to put on a different colour Marabou Puff. So we're going to stick it onto Sally. So I'm going to put some glue over her body. Don't go crazy, don't put too much on, you don't need a lot. I've probably put a little bit too much on there. And we're going to place her on. On this one, we just need a little bit of the circle hanging over the bottom, otherwise it'll cover her face too much. Now, as you can see, we can't see Sally's face very much at all. But that's fine. What I'm going to do is just give her a little trim. And this is quite messy again. There we go. Now I prefer to leave her like that now, all fluffier on the edges. I've noticed some customers like to give her a bit more of a trim all the way around. It's entirely up to you. It depends how fluffy your puff is. <laughs> um, so yeah, next we're going to place these paws on. We can just see where we're going to place them first. Now if you give a feel on your marabou uh, puff, you'll be able to feel the thread that runs all the way through the, the thin piece of rope. I want to place it on there, ideally. So I'm gonna place one there and one there. And once you're happy with the position, we'll take a paw and then dab some glue on the back. Now again, don't put too much because it will go everywhere and it will ruin your fur trim. So there's one, there's a bit of glue on the back. Place that on there. Make sure we're happy with that. If you think you could do with a little bit more and you're brave and you don't want you don't think you're gonna get it everywhere the glue, just pull the paw back and place a little bit on. I might do with that one on the end of her toes. Just to make it extra secure because you do not want these falling off once you've um once your child's wearing them as a headband or when they've gone to your customers. Put a little bit of glue on the second paw. And push that on there. There we go. And there we have a completed Sailor Sally. And she is beautiful. Um, so as you've seen, we've got various characters. Uh, we've got the Sassy Sloth, um, Sailor Sally, uh, Poppy the Puppy Pirate, 
Fern Flamingo, all sorts of characters already. Um, we will be adding some more. Do keep an eye out for those. They are still currently on pre-order, um, meaning you can order them now on the website and they will be dispatched to you within 10 to 14 working days. This is just due to the sheer volume of orders we get through for them um, and they just sell out so, so fast. Uh, so if we put them on pre-order, it just gives us a little bit more time to get them made and posted out to you. However, um, it seems that the, the, the excitement has died down a little bit and it's allowed us to catch up and get ahead of ourselves. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can take that pre-order off soon and it'll be within our normal dispatch times. Um, I just want to show you one more product that we're going to be launching really, really soon. Um, it's a new felted design. Um, my mum has been working really, really hard on some gorgeous little characters for you. Um, I'm going to show you two of them. However, there will be a couple more to go with this, uh, this set. Um, oh, I've got marabou trim all over them as well. Right, so first we've got a gorgeous giraffe. Isn't she beautiful? She's got flowers in her hair. And then we've got a zebra. Beautiful, again, with flowers in her hair. And um, we're also going to be having a lion and an elephant. And this is part of our safari range. And of course, we will be doing uh, fur baby versions of these characters. Um, so do keep an eye out for those. We're really, really excited. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions, pop them below in the comments. And if you would like to see any particular felties or fur babies again, just drop a message in the comments or get in touch with us on our social media. Um, if you check out our Instagram, our Facebook, you will see we're currently running a competition uh, to coincide with our YouTube channel. Um, so go check that out as well. And I will be back soon with another video. Have a lovely bank holiday weekend. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.